this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up and save battery life on your Pixel 2 XL, which I believe should be still called Pixel XL 2. So now let's go ahead and get into it. And this is a couple different steps and feel free to do which ones you want and which ones you feel comfortable with, but these will overall save you battery. First of all, for those of you who don't know, you always want to have a black wallpaper at all times. So the blacker, the better, basically, because that is going to save you battery life. Over time, that can save you up to 10%, so it's pretty significant. Black uh, basically just saves your battery life because all of those pixels are completely off. So it uses a lot less energy, so definitely should uh, keep that in mind. While you're at that, you also always want to go around here and never do automatic brightness because that is going to drain your battery life more. Those sensors constantly need to kind of detect where your battery life is. It's going to drain more than actually just having it at a certain percentage. Next, we're going to go into settings and we're going to speed up the phone a bit more. And how we're gonna do that is by going into system and then going to about phone and then hitting the build number repeatedly. Then from here, we're gonna go back and we're going to go to developer options. So from here, don't do anything unless you know what you're doing. So only really do the ones I'm telling you, or if you know, go ahead and go wild. All right, so you're gonna swipe all the way down and you're gonna do this until you get to the drawing category. Now in the drawing category, there are three things that say animation and scale. You're going to change all of those from 1x to 0.5x. This is going to tell your phone, hey, I know you take a second to do everything, but you can actually do it in half a second. So this will uh, speed up the kind of animations and movement that your phone does. I have to do this immediately with phones just because I can't really use them otherwise. All right, now that this is all moving nice and fast and a lot better, by the way, if you put it to zero, it will actually look like it lags because animations are there for a reason and it's kind of to have you not notice that things are moving. And if you put it to zero animation, then it's gonna be like, well, wow, it looks like it's lagging now. So there you go. Um, all right, so now we are going to get into the next one, which is under location. And under location, you're gonna tap right here and then you're going to go to scanning. Now for scanning, you're gonna to wanna to turn off Bluetooth scanning. This has your Bluetooth constantly running, even if your Bluetooth is turned off. Uh, basically this is not really necessary for your positioning. I, I think it's just way overkill and I've never had an issue with finding my GPS. Uh, as long as I have Wi-Fi on and regular GPS, that's fine. Bluetooth does not need to be draining your phone. All right. Now, the next thing we're gonna to go to is going to be the battery section itself. So we're gonna go into battery and you're going to turn on the battery power saving at 15%. So this is just a good tip to always have that it will automatically turn on at 15% so it's nice and ready and that will of course save you optimum battery life. You're also gonna to wanna to show your battery percentage just so you have it ready and right there so you know where you're at and you don't need to pull down to find out. The next thing you're going to go to is go to ambient display. From here, I would recommend doing two things. One, turning off new notifications to wake up your screen. Although it might, you know, look nice in a sense, always on display really does cover it for you. And because again, it's a black screen, it's going to save you a lot better battery life than your screen suddenly needing to turn on. So I would turn this feature off and I personally will turn the double tap uh, to check the phone on. It's just a lot nicer than to having to reach all the way over your power button, just double tap and then it turns on. So it's a lot nicer for that purpose. All right, now the last thing you wanna make sure to do, let's make sure I didn't forget anything here. Nope, okay. So the last thing you wanna make sure to do is to make sure you get rid of any of the Android bloatware that you don't necessarily ever use. So one good thing is like say, I don't use Android Pay, I just don't like it uh, overall. So I could hold it down, I can go to App Info, and I can uninstall. For any app that you do not want to use that's built into Android, you can remove it. For me, I wouldn't like the calendar that it comes with. I use DigiCal instead of that. Um, so just know that, that if you don't really use an app, you might want to get rid of it. And for the must have apps, well, we're gonna do that video uh, probably within the next week. So subscribe to find that out. 
All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like thumbs up down below. This should help you save your battery life and have your phone move much faster than it was before. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.